This week we're doing uh, Born on the Bayou by CCR, another classic riff. So I've seen two different ways to play this, but I've studied the live videos a little bit and uh, just some of the recordings and I'm 100% sure it's played up here in the fifth position. The other way I've, I've seen is like this. But those first two notes are hammered on using this technique or down here. If you listen in the recording, he's actually sliding into those two notes. So it's really hard to do that uh, from the open position like that. So, but doing it up here, pretty easy and it sounds right. And um, it actually looks right. So if you watch some of his live videos, he's actually playing in this general area. So, so this is the chord uh, he's doing over here. It's part of the intro and it's also a big majority of the song. He's strumming on this during the verses uh, and the chorus. So uh, let's uh, figure out what this chord is. We'll go string by string. So starting on the B string, um, your first finger is going to get the fifth fret right here on B. And then one string down from that on G, you're going to get the seventh fret with your pinky. That guy right there. And then the very next string, D, is going to get the 6th fret with your middle finger. And then the very next string is 7th fret, A, with the ring finger. So starting from the top, 5th fret, B, with your first finger. Pinky on the 7th fret of the next string. Middle finger, 6th fret. And then finally, your ring on the 7th fret. So you should end up, this is an E7 chord. So, so get familiar with this chord, try a, and then the picking pattern just goes in order, uh, in order uh, it goes A, D, B, G, and then the other part is uh, D, B, G, and it just goes, repeats that, so. But nothing changes on the left hand for all that. So, the only other thing you need for that intro is just to slide into that first note and uh, just slide in from two frets away. So we're gonna aim. We're gonna end up at the seventh fret. So we'll start on the fifth fret. And and I'm actually adding on that chord or the, f the fingers of that chord as I play them. Once they're on, just keep them on. But. Starting pattern for the verse and the chorus is just down, up, 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 down, up. And you'll see I'm doing this little kind of percussive click, and all that is is I'm kind of I'm muting it with this side of my palm right here on the strings, so that when I pick, it's it's a muted percussive sound right there. So that so down, up, click, up, up, click. So then he, he does this variant on the chord too, um, and how I do it, I just, from this chord right here, you'll see the pinky is on the 7th fret of G, so what we're going to try to do is to bar that. So let's see if you can kind of see it from this angle. So it's kind of, it's flat instead of the, instead of that, or kind of, I don't know if you can see that, it's kind of the motion we're doing though. And that's for this part right here. That little variant on the chord. Everything else stays the same besides that. It just gets barred. 
And then that very last one, we're gonna go for this uh, D major chord, which is fifth fret on A. And then you're gonna bar the D, G, and B strings all on the seventh fret with, you can use either your ring or your pinky for this. So I prefer to use my ring. So you're gonna do um, a long strum and then a short strum on that. And then we're gonna go down to this uh, A major chord shape, which is, it's a bar chord, but uh, you don't necessarily have to do these uh, top, top strings with that, so. But this is what it is, it's uh, first finger, fifth fret of E, ring finger, seventh fret of A, and then pinky, seventh fret of D, and then your middle finger will get the sixth fret of G. So five, seven, seven, six. So. So just two strums on each of those chords.